Hey, good morning everyone, Trackman44 here. Hey, this morning finds us back down at my daughter's house, getting ready to put the rebuilt cylinder back together. Gotta have to pick it up, let the lower end on the ground, and try to line this guy up here and push the pin in. It's always easier with the second guy, I don't have that luxury today. So we're gonna go ahead and wrestle this thing around and see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little fresh grease in here on this pin hole, clean out that old debris, and then put some fresh grease on, and kinda clean up the pin and grease a little bit before it'll slide in a little easier. Now I gotta line up that pin hole right there. Normally I would go ahead and hook the hose up, start up the tractor and extend the boom, but it's too muddy for me to dig today so I'm not gonna be firing up the tractor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that ram out just that little bit that I'm a little bit short on. With this being newly repacked, I should be able to jerk it just a little bit. I only have to move it a slight distance. If the orientation of your eyelid is off just a little bit, you know, on your ramp, whenever you uh, get the final assembly in the shop done, is not a problem. All you have to do, because especially on that brand newly newly rebuilt cylinder, is take a wooden handle of anything at all and you stick in that eyelet and you can just bend it this way or slip it that way and it should roll pretty easily. Somebody's got a good grip and some good forearms can more than likely twist them pretty easy themselves. I could back in the day, but right now I don't wanna I don't wanna put that much strain on my fingers, so I just stick a, a handle. This here has a bit pitchfork and I just literally moved it from eleven o'clock to twelve o'clock. So it should be just about ready to go on. I might have to go back just a little bit. Yes, and you should have a mallet not a steel hammer. Now line up that pin and go ahead and hook up the hoses. These are 37 degree JIC flares. I gotta go to the other side, put the O-rings onto that uh, swivel fitting over there for that opposite side. And then we have one final connection from that being the swivel can swivel fitting half up to the part of hydraulic oil supply coming out of the control valve. If you wonder where my old socks go when they die, well you see it. Here's those little nitrile washers. These are actually split washers. And I looked those up in a book to make sure they were not broken. But anyway, here's the new O-rings. And uh, in the absence of a little hydraulic fluid, I'm just going to use a little grease. Remember, the nitrile washer goes to the outside of the pressure so that it tightens up the space and allows the O-ring to do its job. If you look closely, you can see there's a split in the washer, and that split is at an angle like that. I think that's to allow it to kind of go a little bit like this, kind of overlap a little bit, like when you're welding a bandsaw blade. All it does is take up a little space on the outside of the O-ring. Yeah, 
yes, that should be hydraulic oil. And then, of course, our final connection up here. You got to make sure you keep the water and the debris out of any of this hydraulic. And as with any flare fitting, you really should use just a little bit of the oil that goes in the system to lubricate the threads as you tighten them up. Never use pipe dope. Well guys, it's uh, back together, totally assembled, everything's tight. All I need to do is top off the hydraulic, fire up the tractor, warm it up, bleed the air out of the uh, system back into the reservoir, top off the tank again, and go to digging. However, today is just muddy as can be. I don't know how many inches of rain we've had since I blew the seal out of that cylinder, but I mean, it's been a lot. And my hole up there is literally knee deep around that stump, and everywhere else is complete mud. It's hard to dig dirt in the mud. Um, and I don't want to get the tires all impacted with mud, get it out in my daughter's driveway, and definitely not on the main, uh, the main road that belongs to the actual lake. So we're going to let it go a couple days, let it dry out. Then we'll be back, and then we're going to do a little bit of digging. And you know what? This is Tractor Man 44. If you hung in here this long and stay with me, I appreciate it. And you know what? I am out of here, guys. Hey, guys. Hang by. Um, hang loose a few seconds after the black Tractor Man logo. There's a few seconds of a blooper reel, but uh, Mrs. thinks it's just hilarious. But I cannot figure out why. Dang! <laughs>